Welcome back. So the brows are done, the eyes are done, lashes are on. And I'm gonna start off with this guy. It was the limited edition coconut prep and prime from MAC Cosmetics. Just gonna use a nice little spritz. I find that it hydrates and it helps to smooth my skin. Um, I'm nice and clean already. And I want it to be dewy, but not too dewy. And then makeup wise, I'm going to use a little master concealer um, from Maybelline. What is the shade? It says camouflage medium to deep, 50 medium to deep. I find that it has like a, a peachy base. So I'm gonna use it right here and right here. I meant for it to go in the same space, but it didn't. It's okay. And for those of you that like to wax above the lip, don't do it, girl. Because what it actually does, it gives you um, a dark shadow. So usually before my makeup, especially if the coverage isn't super, super heavy, I have to go in and do a little bit of color correcting. It's not awful, but it's annoying. And if I knew better, I wouldn't have and waxing and that was from one uh, time doing it so I never do I'll never do that again and if I can I will prevent people from going through that ordeal so we have that now next I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury concealer it's called a retoucher the shade is number seven it's really close to my actual um, skin complexion so I'm just gonna do like a V, a V, do a little bit in the center. How you doing? <laughs> so I'm gonna use that same brush and press it in, but I am not getting too close to the eyes because I don't want it to change that shape that I created. I want to keep it. I feel like Pocahontas with my stripes. And it is a little bit lighter than my, well, actually in this light, it's a lot lighter than my complexion. But in real life, it's not too much different from my complexion. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and continue to blend. I do like to put it around the lips concealer because then it'll help to neutralize my natural lip color, which is like a brownie rosy color. And then yesterday I decided to wear something bright and vivacious and unfortunately some of the color um, didn't come off. So I have some residue. Residue. Next, I'm going to grab my Wet n Wild foundation. The shade is Mocha. I actually own two of them. I bought Cappuccino and Mocha. Unfortunately, I don't have my Cappuccino on me. But either which way, I'm tanned right now. So I have to go ahead and do a lot of mixing anyway. Like, I don't have an exact shade. Not that anything is of a really an exact shade. Like, I find it to be necessary to have a few different shades anyway to blend because I think it looks more um, more natural. Like one shade of foundation, really. Not happening. So I like to start at the bottom. Gonna bring that color into the face. And it doesn't necessarily like translate well just yet, but it's like kind of like complementing these tones that I see happening over here. And then I do the outside. Try not to bring it too forward. I want to let it set a little bit, like dry up a little bit. I'm gonna switch to my Real Techniques brush and continue focusing on that concealer.
then I'm gonna go back to that other brush. This is from uh, BH Cosmetics. I got that pink set. Pink happens to be my favorite color, so it works for me. Uh, yeah, you can see that's a whole lot of color. I don't want it to just sit there, so I'm actually gonna move to this big guy. I love it, but it's hard to clean. <laughs> There's always some makeup left in this guy. Every time I wash, it's like not enough. It's E54. So, that blend. Blend. Same thing on this side. Same thing up top. So, it's coming together slowly but surely. Gonna go back to this one and I like to keep that color right by that contour so I'm sure to smile when I'm blending it That foundation leaves more of a satin finish and I find that it gives medium coverage. Don't think it's sheer and I don't think it's full. In my opinion, it's a medium coverage foundation, but I like it. I feel like it looks like skin. Yeah, I like it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my ColourPop highlighter. It says highlighter bronzer. But, yeah, so I actually don't even know the shade. I'll find out for you guys. But yeah, this is it. Really pretty. I'll swatch it really fast. Really pretty. And for that, I'm gonna grab another BH Cosmetics brush. Just grab a little. Smile and apply it at an angle. And it's up to you. If you like a crazy highlight, go to town. You can apply more. I didn't set my skin with foundation, I'm sorry, with a powder. Because again, from the beginning, I told you I wanted more of a dewy finish. So I'm gonna leave it like that. And my skin is um, normal to combination, so I don't usually get too oily. Sometimes in my T-zone, some oils will happen and I'll like touch up throughout the day. But for now, I'm, I'm fine with that healthy glow. And it's not too humid outside, so I'll be fine. And I'll use a little bit in the nose. Not too much. A little bit at the Cupid's bow. And then blend again. Blend again. Next up, I'm going to grab this blush from MAC Cosmetics. It's called Fairly Precious, and it's from the Extra Dimension um, range. Super, super pretty. I will swatch this so you can see it. <laughs> They're really similar. I'm going to grab some of that and place that right underneath. Also to highlight. Bam. And I am that type of person that likes to mix. So um, I know a lot of people would just like use one blush or one highlighter. I like to use a few different colors for dimension, for color, um, because I have a lot of makeup. <laughs> like all of the above are all my reasons of why. I'm going to go ahead and use the... Juvia Saharan Blush Volume Number One. I do own uh, Number Two as well. I love her eyeshadows. Love her blushes. Super, super pigmented. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this brick shade called Neo.
And I kind of like to start toward the back of the face and then bring the color toward the face. And I contoured slightly with my foundation because it was a lot, a lot um, well, not a lot deeper, but a little bit deeper than what was happening in the center. So I'm going to grab a little bit of Abby, which is this deeper tone, um, back here to contour slightly, a little bit up. And I use, I'm using the same brush. It's actually from MAC, the 116. I've had this brush for ages, and it hasn't broken or anything. Love this brush. Touch the nose, touch a little bit down here. And I told you I like to blend. So now I'm gonna grab my blush from Maybelline. The shade is called Coral Burst. This is beautiful. Like, if you're of a lighter skin tone but you like color, go for it. And if you are a melanin girl, you need it in your life. Smile, and I'm gonna Pop that onto the apples of my cheek. Very pretty. Of course, I'm gonna say it's pretty. It's me. <laughs> I'm gonna use um, Dose of Colors new lipstick. It's called Fudge. I really love the packaging. Uh, it looks a little bit a little bit funky because it got beat up. Uh, in my bag but nonetheless it's a great lipstick for this look I'm not going in with a liner so I am gonna start by the cupid's bow and really outline the lip And there you have it guys the look thank you so much for watching hope to see you next time